We are comprised of an infinite number of layers and are infinitely more complex than we might at first think. We're also innately equipped to turn our attention to and bring our focus to bear on what interests us, like looking through a strong magnifying glass. When we're absorbed by what's before us, everything else literally ceases being substantial, like being so engrossed in a movie or a good book that we no longer see or hear the people around us and time essentially stands still. You know it's true. We have the same ability to focus on our own and other people's potential and beauty or narrow in on imperfections and defects. The tendency to see the worst in ourselves and others was learned at the feet of unhappy people who convinced us that our faults were the cause of their unhappiness. The understanding being that if we could behave perfectly, they would be happy. But when we finally come to the astounding conclusion that our happiness is not tied to other people's actions, it's easier to widen the narrow lens of our perception and frees us up to see others in a softer and more beautiful light, and that includes us. At this juncture, I'd like to offer something for your consideration, something you already innately know. When we look at others and see their strengths and or weaknesses, we're holding up a mirror in which is reflected the way we view ourselves. Sometimes it takes clarity and honesty to see the similarities rather than the differences. And the reason we would even bother is because it's such a wonderful learning tool. How we view others is a powerful indication of the way we see ourselves. Because if you're looking at the people around you with distaste, chances are you hold the same perspective deep within yourself about the person you think you are. There is so much beauty inherent in life and all its majesty and complexity. It seems a shame to focus so intently on the fly that you become momentarily unaware of the ointment surrounding it. In this case, the fly is tiny, the ointment immense, our flies small, who we really are so incredibly infinite and beautiful, the tiny defects pale in comparison. Right now, in this moment, the opportunity presents itself for you to identify with the smallest and ugliest of details, or with the best and brightest of who you are, which, if you will let it, will shine its beauty so bright it can't help but shine through and burn away all the impurities you thought were a terminal part of you, but they're not. New beliefs can be learned. The narrow stranglehold of how we define ourselves can be expanded with tenderness, openness, and curiosity. The blinders we sometimes wear can be removed and our sight adjusted to the brightness of compassion and acceptance. So, wipe off that old mirror you've been looking into, or even better, replace it with one that's better, a truthful one that allows you and others' beauty to shine through.